Mr. Johnson for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chair. Mr. Chu, I'm, I'm an information technology professional, been doing it for the most of my life. You've been evasive in many of your answers. I'm gonna to talk to you in some language that maybe you'll better understand, ones and zeros, okay? Let's talk about the Citizen Lab Report. This is something your team frequently mentions in hearings as a way to exonerate yourself. For example, in the limitations section, it reads, we could not examine every source code component and test in the apps in every circumstance, which means our methods could not find every security issue, privacy violation, and censorship event. So it's an incomplete assessment. The report notes that TikTok's data collection using third-party trackers was in apparent conflict with the GDPR and that multiple themes were censored by TikTok. What is shocking to me is the shared source code between TikTok in the United States and the CCP-centered Doan. The Citizen Labs report says that many of the functions and classes were identical and that the differences in behavior between TikTok in the United States and Doan in China are slight changes in hard-coded values. Incredibly, specific censorship parameters from Doan are present in TikTok, but just turned off. The authors say that for unknown reasons, the parameter var variable the, uh, itself is preserved. So while Citizen Lab may have been afraid to say the obvious conclusion, Mr. Chu, I am not, TikTok's source code is riddled with backdoors and CCP censorship devices. Here's the truth. In a million lines of code, the smallest shift from a zero to a one on just one of thousands of versions of TikTok on the market will unlock explicit CCP censorship and access to American data. Mr. Chu, as CEO of TikTok, why have you not directed your engineers to change this source code? Uh, Congressman, th thank you for the question. I, I have you directed them to change the source code? Like what we are offering in yes my source no. commitment? Uh, have you directed them to change that source code? Uh, Congressman, um, if you give me a bit of time to just No, I, I don't. I, it's a yes or no question. Have you directed your engineers to change that source code? I, I'm not sure I understand. Why are you allowing TikTok to continue to have the capacity for censorship, and yet you claim here that you don't? Let me it remind doesn't. you of something. Do you realize that making false and misleading statements to Congress is a federal crime? Yes, I do. Okay. So have you directed your engineers to change that source code? I am giving third-party access monitoring okay. by experts. And, and uh, Congressman, you, you are an expert on this. You could agree with me that no other TikTok company does source this. code is the same as Doan? What percentage? I, I can get back to you on the specifics. Okay, if I'd appreciate yeah. that. Where was the source code for TikTok developed? Was it developed in China or in the United States? It's a global collaborative effort. Like a lot, was of, it developed a lot in, of companies. Was it developed in China? Some of it? Some of it is. Okay, at ByteDance. Can, can the, when it's compiled in the compilation process, can byte code be manipulated? We've talked a lot about source code. What about the byte code, the ones and zeros that actually execute on the device? That, can it give be you manipulated? Com yes. uh, Congressman, to give you comfort, that's why we're giving third-party monitors. Yes, as sir. an expert, I think you can agree okay. that very few companies have to do this. I've got the report here by uh, Citizen Lab. I want to read you... Uh, something from Ron Debert. Specifically, in your written testimony to Congress, you stated on page nine, Citizen Lab found that there was no overt data transmission by TikTok to the Chinese government and that TikTok did not contact any servers within China. You implied that Citizen Lab exonerated TikTok from any information sharing with China. Well, the director of Citizen Lab saw this and issued a statement correcting the record yesterday. And I'm quoting Ron Debert, the director of the lab. I am disappointed that TikTok executives continue citing the Citizen Lab's research in their statements to government as somehow exculpatory. I've called them out on this in the past, and it's unfortunate that I have to do it again, unquote. He goes on to say, and I quote, we even speculated about possible mechanisms through which the Chinese government might use unconventional techniques to obtain TikTok user data via pressure on ByteDance, end of quote. Mr. Chu, you sent Congress written testimony citing this lab as a support of your claim that China cannot access user data. 
U.S. user data. And now this lab has come out to say, we never said that. That's misleading, Mr. Chu. I hope you understand what that is. That's misleading. Mr. Chu, this is yet another instance of TikTok attempting to mislead Americans about what their technology is capable of and who has access to their information. Madam Chair, I'd like to... Madam Chair, I'd like to respond to that very Ron quickly, Diebert please. ...and the uh, uh, Citizens Lab into the record. Without objections. With so that, heard. I yield back. Gentleman yields back.